Bienvenidos, bienvenidas, bienvenides a otra de las actividades de esta 36 sexta edición del Festival de Cine de Mar del Plata, un festival eh, híbrido con una versión online y una versión presencial. Nos da mucho gusto eh, poder tener la oportunidad de, de invitar a los y las realizadoras eh, que nos han cedido sus películas para que formen parte de esta edición del festival para poder hablar eh, con tranquilidad sobre sus obras y hacer este necesario intercambio en el cual pensamos un poco eh, todas estas películas que, que conforman nuestra selección. En este caso vamos a hablar con un amigo, un amigo del festival hay que decirlo porque ya lo es a esta altura, el señor Radu Yude, él es director, guionista, productor, hizo un montón de películas, eh, muchas de ellas formaron parte de, de las distintas ediciones del Festival de Cine de Mar del Plata, como Scared Hearts, I Do Not Care If We Go Down in History as Barbarians, The Exit of the Trains, el año pasado, y en este caso nos acompaña con su último largometraje, eh, Bad Luck Banging or Looney Porn, eh, cuyo título en nuestro país es Sexo Desafortunado o Porno Loco. Oh, ¿De qué se trata esto? Es una comedia altamente estimulante, eh, en, el, en la cual una vez más eh, nuestro amigo eh, Radu eh, juxtapone, eh, la, o juxtapone, o pone en diálogo la forma y el contenido para hablar de nosotros, de nosotros como sociedad, nosotros eh, a nivel global, y de cómo el mundo está un poco en llamas, como el fondo que tiene en este momento, eh, mientras habla con nosotros. Bienvenido a Radu, un gusto estar acá con vos. Uh, th thank you so much for inviting uh, me. Uh, I really admire the, the festival. It's, uh, I said it in a, in a previous uh, 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 online encounter at the festival that I know about it since I was a teenager because my favorite Romanian director, Lucian Pintilie, uh, wrote a text in the 60s when he was with his first film in Mar del Plata, when he was also awarded. So, Mar del Plata Festival was like a legendary thing for me. Then uh, I got to, to meet uh, Cecilia Barrio Nuevo and she's really, really somebody nice. And my relation to Argentina's culture is, is very deep since my favorite writers, uh, which formed me in my teenage years, comes from there. First of all, Borges, Cortázar, uh, uh, Sabato, Uh, also filmmakers like like uh, like uh, Lucrecia Martel and uh, Matias Pinheiro and uh, a lot of uh, other young uh, filmmakers in Argentina are really really great. Uh, and also I have a friend in the film critic Roger Cosa, uh, who's also a, a person I admire a lot. So you know I I have a, I feel very very at home uh, to Argentina although. I never was able to, to make it. Uh, first of all, I'm a bit afraid of flying and to such a long distance, uh, it would be maybe too much for my nerves. Uh, but also it just happened like that. Uh, but the first uh, reason is the, the flight. Uh, I, ha I have to take three planes to get to Mar del Plata. So I am a bit unable to do so. Please excuse me for that. But I'm, uh, I am your friend and uh, the admirer of the festival. Hermosas palabras, muchas gracias. Sentimos lo mismo y esperamos que alguna vez puedas venir a visitarnos, no sé, por barco. Lleva un poco más de tiempo, pero es una buena forma de... de aquí. No, no. Okay. Vamos por eso, vamos por eso. Estaría bueno tenerte aquí con nosotros sin lugar a duda, como bueno, decía recién, nos interesa muchísimo tu, tu, tu acercamiento al cine, tu forma de ver y entender el cine que creemos que, que es eh, tan, tan vital y moderna eh, como clásica desde el, la mejor de las concepciones, y, y, y creo que esta que es, eh, que no, no, no sos ajeno al mundo de la comedia, de hecho ya has hecho bastantes películas con humor o humorísticas, pero parece que esta es tu gran comedia hasta el momento, ¿no? Eh, desde un montón de lugares, eh, desde, desde lo subversivo, desde ideológico, eh, político y, y bueno, nada. Un montón de lugares desde donde aprovechás para eh, ser punzante, irónico y, y humorístico eh, a la vez, siempre, como es algo que sucede en tu cine, estimulando al pensamiento. Uh, 
Well, you know, when we speak about humor, it's all, all, all the time very subjective and very, very personal. And uh, the only thing I believe is what Chekhov said, that any human situation uh, can be humorous if you look from a specific angle uh, at it. Uh, so the humor, I think, comes not from what happens, or from, uh, but from the, the way the things are seen, from the angle. Uh, and this is, so there's humor in everything. Uh, it just uh, depends if we decide to, to see it uh, or not. Like it's sadness in, every, in everything. Uh, um, so I, I, I don't know if it's a, a comedy or not. It's something, I think the film is uh, mixed up with uh, a, a lot of uh, elements and sometimes probably they are humorous. I think sometimes they are not. So I have a, a, a lot of trouble in, uh, in trying to, um, to separate them and, and, and to see where is humor and where is not. I don't really know it myself. What I know is... Uh, um, that I have, I like to laugh and I like humor and I like works of art which have humor in them, especially if they are, I don't know, I'm very attached, for instance, in the last years uh, by, uh, to the Romanian avant-garde from the 30s, which uh, Tristan Tsara, the inventor of Dadaism, was a Romanian Jew from, from where, nearby Bucharest, actually, he was born here. So in the 30s, a uh, few people know, but there was a huge avant-garde movement uh, uh, in Romania, in all uh, arts, painting, literature, architecture, I don't know. Uh, Sabato wrote about one of these people, about, uh, about uh, uh, the painter uh, Brauner, Victor Brauner, in several of his books, because these people went to Paris, like Brancusi, Brauner, and others. But still, there's a lot remained uh, uh, here and that spirit i try to connect a little bit to, to their, their spirit of taking everything a little bit uh, 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 again seriousness if you want and cinema industry is really encouraging us to be very serious so you, even if you make a comedy you have to make a serious comedy so to speak, which i don't want to bueno y, y el comienzo de de, de eso eh, es es como decía es jugar con el, el... El, el tema o el contenido y la forma, eh, algo que, que, que sueles hacer en tus películas, y en esta eh, es, es un, un juego constante, eh, como, como estas las tres partes, que la película tiene un prólogo, eh, en el cual vemos una escena de sexo amateur, una, una escena de sexo entre un matrimonio, que es la que dispara eh, lo que sigue, que son eh, tres partes, de, 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 de la narración, las tres con formas radicalmente opuestas, eh, pero siempre con un poco el mismo objetivo, ¿no? Yes, uh, the same thing. Yes, and yes, in a way one can say that all the three parts are one story which is... Uh, Uh, remade uh, all the time in different uh, ways. Uh, one can see it like that. Um, but this structure actually was uh, also to be a, a bit against the seriousness because um, it's like Adorno used to say that essay, uh, uh, essay's uh, law is heresy. It's because an essay is not something which is finished, like a philosophical system, let's say, or... And in a way, this film is uh, mutatis mutandis, uh, the same thing. I mean, it's a, a kind of uh, unfinished film. It's a film which is just uh, sketched. It's a film which is completely not uh, not left, not not uh, not made round. It's not a rounded film. It's not a finished film. It's just uh, uh, materials for a possible film. Film and well, I think this is also a playful thing in a way. Uh, but also something that many people find frustrating, and I really apologize because sometimes uh, people feel this need to be, as they said, in sure hands. Maybe this is the mystery of dictatorship. Peron, peron, que grande sos. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is the mystery of dictatorship because, uh, and then a film which doesn't offer uh, a very definite and clear uh, answers and, uh, and, and problems might be frustrating. It's a lot of people that say, well, the film has three endings. I don't want that. I want one clear ending and to know what it's all about. And I think, well, we maybe, maybe I can understand that, but 
the world is uh, unfinished. The, our relationship to reality is, is incomplete all the time. So uh, even if it's uh, psychologically hard to accept that we, 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 we cannot have a complete view of reality, maybe it's, uh, it's, uh, it's important to make this step as well, uh, in a way, if I'm not too pretentious, I don't know. <laughs> Sí, yo igual no, no puedo entender a alguien que, que, que exija un solo final en vez de tres, que es lo que sucede con la película, una especie de elige tu propia aventura, si se quiere. Eh, no, no puedo entender que alguien exija eso, habiendo visto todo lo previo de la película, que precisamente lo que hace desde un lugar muy lúdico es la búsqueda constante de desafiar las formas. Yes, but uh, uh, maybe it's uh, b because we, we, you mentioned the uh, humor at the beginning. You know, there is um, there is a book of uh, a very important book for me of the Dutch historian of culture, Johan Houtzinga or Huizinga, is uh, we we would read it, which is called Homo Ludens. And uh, Houtzinga there says that uh, all that the roots of the culture is in play is in games, is in playing. Uh, so there's a, an element of a ludic element, a playful element in all culture. Uh, now it depends the doses of, for this, but uh, in every play he says, and I think he's right, uh, the, the player who's most hated is the one who doesn't want to, uh, to play the rules, to accept the rules. If somebody, some people play football, and one uh, player doesn't respect the rules and to touch the hand all the time with his, uh, touch the ball with his hands or whatever, then this is more uh, hated, uh, more the, the despised or kicked out than somebody who cheats in the game. Because even if you're cheating, you're still playing the game. So I think a little bit the film I've done doesn't play the rules exactly, refuses to play, uh, to play the game of cinema nowadays uh, a little bit at least in part and maybe this creates the frustration because people say why don't you play the game with us you know and i say well i, I don't like the game in all the, in all it's the, yeah bueno totalmente y, y, insisto creo que creo que la película ab abrega siempre a eso busca eso siempre está todo el tiempo digamos en, en, en esa búsqueda de, de, de reinventarse y de no cerrar y de no ser una cosa estática y definible, creo que es lo mejor que tiene la película, que uno como espectador no sabe nunca a dónde va, no hay nada seguro, no hay, no hay ninguna forma de predecir, aún sabiendo eh, que la película tiene estas partes y, y un poco de qué puede llegar a ir cada una, eh, la falta de seguridad es una constante y creo que eso es una de las grandes cualidades de la película, eh, no saber cuál es el destino eh, y cuáles son las reglas, en ningún momento, eh, y eso creo que la hace todavía más interesante como pieza cinematográfica y también como experiencia desde el lado del espectador. Pero bueno, eso es si simplemente mi apreciación del asunto. Eh, si querés, hablamos un poquito de cada parte, como para, como para um, dar una idea, eh, y, y que nos vayas contando un poco la, la, sí. eh, eh, todo el asunto. Bueno, la película empieza con una, con una escena porno, algo que eh, supongo escandalizará. ¿Lo del porno? Sí, yes, sí. No. ¿A quién no le gusta el porno? <ríe> no, no, no. <ríe> no es que esté insistiendo en esto, sino que me, en, en la idea de... de... But. <ríe> eh, sí, exactamente, pero el hecho de, de incluir eso es, es algo que eh, no es común, y por eso digo que también es muy radical en, en la búsqueda, no es común porque supongo que habrá gente que se espantará con esto, supongo que también reducirá el recorrido comercial de la película de alguna forma, pero me parece que es algo, y a eso iba, total y absolutamente común en los tiempos actuales, eh, ni siquiera hay que poner certificado de edad para ver este tipo de material real en, en internet, ¿no? O sea, uno entra en Google, busca porno y es lo primero que aparece.
Yes, of course, it's a, it, it's a kind of hypocrisy in our world because you can show a lot of murders in any film. You can show people getting killed, smashed, uh, beaten up, uh, but you can show something so nice and beautiful and natural as sex. Uh, I'm somehow amazed by that. Uh, and of course, it's also hypocritical because as you say, with one click on the internet, you're on YouPorn or on Pornhub and... Uh, and uh, and uh, you can see not uh, banal things like in my film, but uh, really extreme things or really uh, complicated or horrible or dirty, whatever. You, you, you can fight whatever you want. Uh, and well, the film starts with that uh, scene because I felt the need. Uh, I didn't, it was the, the beginning of the project was not supposed to have this scene at the beginning. And then in editing, I put it and took it out and thought a lot if to put it uh, back. And in the end, I put it there because I saw that it's important for the viewers to see, to see what the film is about exactly and to know, to be in the know, to know, to have a judgment. So the viewers cannot say, I cannot have a judgment because I don't know exactly what this tape looks like. So now they know, so they, they will have a judgment for themselves. Uh, so that was the reason it starts like that, I think. Sí, y está muy bien, digamos, eh, la, la búsqueda de imitar eh, el, el porno casero, digamos, más, más común, si se quiere, el que se encuentra sin ningún tipo de otra reproducción, simplemente lo que se trata, ¿no? El, una relación entre un matrimonio que, que simplemente le gusta jugar con la cámara. Eh, sin embargo, lo que sí me parecía, y por por, por lo que básicamente vuelvo a esto, es porque me parece que ese tipo de cosas, de dispositivos, si se quiere, o de, 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 de imágenes y sonido, de videos, son habituales eh, en, en, en la actualidad, y creo que desde ese lado empezás, ¿no? Desde algo que es corriente y común, si se quiere, en la vida de, de los adultos, si se quiere, de alguna forma. Well, not really daily. Some from some of us are not able to have it daily, you know. It's, um, <laughs> well. Yes, but you're right. I cannot comment more on that. I think. Mm -hmm. Bueno, y, y, y eso, y lo más interesante es que eso precisamente le da el punto de partida a toda una una película que gira alrededor de la hipocresía que hay armada alrededor de eso y, y cómo impacta en un montón de otros lugares. Y ahí empieza eh, tu, tu, tu recorrido por un montón de, de ideas y de, de tópicos que son habituales en tu filmografía, pero que aquí están jugados desde este lugar que venimos hablando, empezando por esa primera parte que podría ser un, un registro, por usar un, un, una expresión fácil eh, de Cinema Verite, eh, de, de, de la ciudad de Bucarest, pero en realidad lo que termina siendo es un retrato coral de una ciudad y sobre todo de las interacciones y la suma de las individualidades como, como el, el, el punto de partida de, del estado en el que estamos, ¿no? Como sociedad. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, the first part, uh, which is, as you, as you mentioned, shot uh, Cine Verité, Cinema Verité. I mean, the background is always documentary. We didn't... Uh, only the interactions between actors are staged. Uh, it's like a theorem. I wanted to see, uh, it was a question to see if just walking on a street from the periphery of Bucharest to the center in a chaotic city like Bucharest is uh, and full of contradictions, uh, if we can see the values of the society behind the buildings, the cars, the billboards, the, the garbage, the, the, the architecture and so on and so forth. And I'm not sure, I think, I think it, it is something there. Sometimes it's very clear what it is, sometimes it's not that clear. Uh, so it's more like a question mark, like a question to the audience. It's like, you know, uh, And the answer should come from them. Can we see something more in the city than the city itself, than the buildings and the cars and so on? Is something behind? Because of course, cinema, the camera has this power to show the things, the the, the, sur the surface of the things. So it's a film about the surface of, 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 of that. But now I remember 
I don't know who it was that somebody says that uh, the profundity, the deepness, the, the profundity should be is always hidden at the surface. So maybe it's it's trying to see to show the surface in order to make the people reflect a little bit of what's behind this surface. Exactamente. No, no puedo dejar de pensar, y cuando veía la película eh, no podía dejar de pensar, no tiene ninguna relación, simplemente esto que vos resaltás, eh, en, en la idea de, del comienzo de, de Terciopelo Azul, Blue Velvet de David Lynch, en el cual la cámara termina, o sea, vemos todo el, el mundo ideal del, del White Picket Fence, la idea de la, de la sociedad hermosa, y la cámara metiéndose abajo, pasando eso pasando esa yeah. superficie y viendo todo el, el caos, ¿no? Un poco es, es esa idea, yes. la de, de, de ver lo que hay abajo cuando uno, uno rasca un poquito de la realidad aparente. Yeah, it's a very, well, a, a very flattering comparison because of course I'm a big fan of David Lynch, but I think that my, uh, I'm more modest, I'm not able to be as he is because he goes, if you want uh, to, to show what's hidden, Uh, in a metaphysical uh, way, he goes to the metaphysics behind the society where my approach is a little bit uh, remains more sociological into that and more related to, 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 to the reality at hand and is anti-metaphysical and maybe we can say it's historical but no, no metaphysical. I'm not able to, to do metaphysics like Mr. Lynch is. I admire him in all Por ahora. Por ahora, nunca digamos nunca. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm not a metaphysical person, so it's... it's no te not, interesa not mucho tampoco, no te interesa, bien. Eh, es muy interesante cómo utilizas la cámara para hacer juxtaposición de ideas, eh, eso claramente está muy presente en, en la película, eh, en, en mostrar cómo en, en el mismo lugar donde te venden eh, libros sobre la vida de Jesús, te venden mochilas de Disney, con motivos de Disney, o en el medio de una ciudad como la naturaleza lucha por prevalecer y, y salir desde abajo de, de, del cemento, ¿no? Yes, yes, it's a lot of, it is, uh, it's, a, it's a good observation, I think, because the film, I considered it in a way a montage film, uh, made by, uh, by opposing things which, which clash together, either by the montage operations, like in the second part, or text uh, versus image, text uh, uh, against image, or like in the first part where camera points uh, to different, uh, make, make some move and, and points to two different realities, which some, sometimes they get uh, uh, into the same direction, but sometimes they are very opposing, like uh, uh, the, the pollution and the craziness of the cars in our city, compared uh, with the nature that, that still uh, fights to exist. It, it, it's true that the, I would say I, I consider the film maybe a little bit uh, exaggerated, but I consider that the main device of construction is montage. Montage, which is understood, as you said, of putting contrary things together uh, to create a synthesis, if you want, and not montage as, is un as it is understood in most of the films, only juxtaposition of images to create a story. Here, the montage sometimes breaks the story up. It doesn't make it. It breaks it. La rompe y te lleva a pensar que eso es, me parece que es por lo cual hacer cine, ¿no? Para hacernos pensar. Yes, I hope so. I believe... Cinema is a tool for thinking, most of all, uh, which doesn't exclude emotion or entertainment, as people, uh, as people uh, uh, sometimes say. Uh, and it's always, I give this example, I, I gave it already, so I'm sorry to repeat myself. Uh, sometimes people say, you know, uh, cinema is a circus distraction because this is how it appeared. People were looking at, at films at the beginning of cinema in circus tents. So film should be something like circus. First of all, I don't see why an art should remain exactly as it started. But then I think this is only half the truth because there were people like Etienne Jules Marais or people like Maybridge that 
at the beginning of cinema or even before the, the official beginning of cinema, they use the camera in order to study the reality, to study how a cat is falling, how a horse is galloping. All of these things uh, show us that cinema started as entertainment, but also as study about reality in the same time. So I think it can be both. Uh, uh, and for me, it is important uh, to, to be a tool for, for a specific thinking that you cannot have without uh, the tools of cinema. Exacto. Y así entramos a, a la segunda parte en la cual no solo mostrás ese caballo corriendo, sino que en, en, esta, en, esta, en este apartado, esta segunda parte llamada diccionario, Hay eh, eh, ahí, ahí tenés un montón de, 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 de ideas también, es como el, el, la, la parte más... Eh, que, que más nos lleva a pensar y que además las cosas en las cuales las cosas pasan rápido y hay que estar muy atento a los detalles, a las imágenes que usas y a justamente todo este trabajo de juxtaposición o de potenciar una con otra la imagen con, con el texto, con lo que se habla, eh, donde una de las cosas que, 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 que figura es eh, cuando la verdad es importante prefiero escribir ficción. Contanos un poco sobre esa, esa aseveración. Well, all of those statements there in the second part is uh, literary quotations or philosophical quotations from other uh, writers, like most of the images are archive images of, uh, or internet images or uh, photographs, uh, paintings, so on and so forth. And that's uh, uh, whenever truth is important, I prefer to write fiction is a phrase by Virginia Woolf. She, she, she wrote that. And, uh, well, I think it shows uh, there is this divide in our world between documentary and fiction. Uh, and it's considered sometimes that documentary is uh, heading for the truth, while fiction is, you know, making things up, so it's not reliable as a tool uh, for thinking. Um, but I believe that uh, because of the liberty it can take, because of the, of the possibilities that have, uh, fiction is also important in another way and, and can get to a different kind of truth. It's like Milan Kundera used to say that something like uh, uh, literature, he said, uh, fiction literature, I mean, is important because it shows the possibility of the human beings, the possibilities they have. Like Kafka shows a kind of possibility of being in the world. Faulkner showed another possibility. Uh, Sabato shows another possibility of being and so on and so forth. So in a way, I think this is what, uh, what fiction uh, can do. Uh, it can show us uh, the, the, the possibilities to be in the world, uh, uh, which are different. You know, this is why sometimes science fiction films are important because Of course, they are not documentaries, they are not truthful, but they can show uh, a possibility of existing that we, we don't uh, imagine without them, maybe. And it's the same here. It's, uh, the, uh, the film is a lot of, the, uh, at least the, the second and the third part of the film, there's a lot of fiction there, uh, meaning that, uh, for instance, in the third part, there's a lot of things put together, which... People say, is it like that in a school meeting? And I said, well, it's not exactly like that. It's exaggerated, but it's just a possibility of being. So I think that's why it's important uh, to have fictions uh, around us. Uh, you know. Exactamente eso iba a decir, que de la ficción vamos a hablar en, en, en un par de minutos, eh, porque es esa tercera parte y esa... Ese, esa búsqueda de, 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 de emular la idea del, de la sitcom, ¿no? la situation comedy, la comedia de situaciones, pero desde el lugar eh, autoral que, que te caracteriza. Eh, en esta segunda parte, este diccionario, eh, hay muchísimas ideas, eh, y, y, y como dispositivo, si se quiere, no, yo no podía evitar relacionarlo a... a, a a una forma con contenido eh, de pensar el mundo 
con imágenes que se vive hoy en, en las redes sociales. Pienso, por ejemplo, en Instagram. ¿No? Como una idea de, 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 de capturar es, ese dispositivo, o esa plataforma, o esa idea que hoy hay muchísima gente muy, más metida ahí quizá que en su propia vida, y recuperar ese formato eh, para darle contenido a algo que en general no lo tiene. It is true that uh, some of the interactions in that third part are modeled more um, on the social interactions on platforms like Facebook or Instagram uh, or uh, WhatsApp groups. I, I have two kids and I went also to, to meetings with parents like that, but uh, now it, it's a lot of interactions on WhatsApp groups and it's horrifying. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I made the, the group silent, but still sometimes I see Uh, and I, 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 I abstain myself to comment. Uh, but, uh, and yes, the third part is, is, it is like that, as you say, and it's also a caricature. And um, uh, some people accuse that because they say, well, it's a caricature, so it's not uh, realistic. But I remember them all the time what Picasso said about caricature, that caricature is not realistic, but it is truthful. So in a way, I, I, I believe the same. I think it's, it's uh, this is why I staged it in such a way, uh, very artificially, because of course one, one could have made the film very realistic. So many of the scenes should have been left out to give the illusion of reality, but I wanted to keep everything in. So in order to have this excess uh, possible, uh, he, he, he's made, it is made, Uh, very artificial, like a caricature, like a satire, like a sitcom, like a commedia dell'arte, if you want, uh, all these things uh, uh, come together. And uh, I'm still, uh, I was very, I didn't know if it's a good option or not. I still don't know it, but now I, I'm more relaxed with it. I think I like it like that. I like it's excessive. Uh, and uh, why not? Bueno, esa tercera parte, entrando ahí en, en, la, en la parte de ficción, que como bien decís, tiene un, un, un apoyo en, 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 en seguramente hechos horribles de la vida real, de interactuar eh, desde, desde esa, ese lugar que uno está forzado a tomar, ¿no? Eh, como padre o como eh, guardián de, de, o adulto responsable de niños, Eso, esa, ese infierno que es el otro, de algún lugar, eh, en esta tercera parte, todo, todo lo que impulsa ese humor eh, son puntos de vista políticos, sociales, etcétera, pero que, que son cosas que se escuchan y se ven, es, insisto, el horror, eh, y en, esta, en este caso lo llevas hacia, hacia un lugar eh, de... de, de de punto y contrapunto en las discusiones, que es muy interesante, esa, esa, ese tironeo por la lectura de la realidad, ¿no? Well, I don't even know what is in that part, I don't remember now, it's too many things, <laughs> uh, but... Uh... Actually, I wanted to have there all the point... First of all, the film I've made is very local, It is a film uh, which is local, uh, meaning by that, that it's related to Romanian society. And I'm very happy it is a local film because I'm interested in local uh, art. I, if I see a film from Argentina, like a Lucrecia Martel film, I, I'm very happy to see something from Argentina. Yeah, I don't want to see an Argentinian film which looks like a Hollywood film. Uh, and nowadays uh, we are in a... In a The cinema world where things start to resemble very much a Croatian film and the Polish film and the French film, they all look the same. Uh, and sometimes an Argentinian film as well. And um, so, I con so, so in that scene, it's put together all the things which are local, like local tendencies. Uh, sometimes even the references, I think, are very opaque or very hard to, to grasp for, for, for a for a foreign audience. For instance, the school is called Nikifor Krajnik, 
and Kreinig was a fascist leader in the 30s. So, uh, but then, you know, I looked it up and in, in a village where this guy was born, there is a school, Nikki, for Kreinig. I thought it's only my exaggeration, but it's not, it really exists. So, you know, all these things come together in a very local way, but I strongly believe that, that to be local uh, is the only correct way in be, becoming, let's say, universal. I mean, I wanted to show something from Romania so that people can compare with what they know, what they don't know uh, from their own cultures and to see the differences, because that's the beauty of it, not to make a film that uh, looks like a nowhere land. Uh, uh, yeah, so I think this is why uh, what you mentioned is all this put together, very, very local references and the directions in thinking in politics in uh, history, uh, because uh, the Romanians are obsessed uh, uh, with the national identity, probably may, many of them feeling not very sure about that. So it's all, history is always a way of constructing the national identity. So this is why a kind of uh, mythologization of history is, uh, is uh, very important for many Romanians, and I'm against that. So all these things, uh, yes, come together in the, in the third part. Bien, y también la, las, esta idea, lo que, lo que hablabas, bueno, en, en inglés está la, la, la palabra luni dando vueltas, eh, supongo que en rumano también habrá algo de eso, se escucha cada tanto en esa, en esa torre Actually, de Babilonia. Actually, the Romanian title uh, is a little bit, uh, not more complex, but has more nuances, which... I didn't know how to, 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 to grasp them in the English title because, for instance, the Romanian word balamuk, which means loony, crazy, or crazy house, something like that, is a word which has a Turkish origin. It's an Ottoman word uh, from when Romania was under the influence of Turkish Empire, of Ottoman Empire. And in the same time, it's used mostly in very, very cheap, Uh, theater, boulevard theater productions or tabloid press, you know, if, you, if somebody does something extremely messy uh, or chaotic, you can call it a balamuk, so it's a loony. So I think this, this nuance doesn't get to the translation of the title in other languages. Claro, en realidad es buenísimo eso porque... Uh, el, el famoso Lost in Translation, la, la, la sutileza que no termina de, de, de cerrar porque hay que tener todo ese trasfondo. Eh, hay cada tanto un personaje que se ríe como Woody Woodpecker, como el pájaro loco, eh, eh, que le da también un... <ríe> tira un poco de nafta al incendio que está sucediendo. Yeah, 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 exactly, yes. Oh, well, yeah, well, the Woody Woodpecker. Yeah, yeah, you know, all these signs are, uh, have different meanings in, in different cultures, uh, because, for instance, Woody Woodpecker, what does it mean? It starts from well, the guy who does it the first time when he hears a name like Tsok. Uh, somebody reads from this sociologist, Tsok. So he said Chok Chok, which means like the, the way a, a bird is doing. And then he imitates Woody Woodpecker. But that's not only that. In, in Romania, the word woodpecker, the Romanian word chocanitoare, which is woodpecker, means also a woman who likes to suck cock. Uh, I mean, a woman to, who, who's doing the blowjob. So, you know, it's always a little bit more, more <laughs> details into all these stupid uh, small things uh, that get lost. But, well, that's it, you know. Because I don't know, you know, that woodpecker doesn't mean blowjob woman in, uh, in, uh, in uh, English, probably, and probably not in the Spanish. But in Romania, when you say a woman is, I mean, macho people or misogyn people say about, because I don't see anything wrong in that, say about a woman, she's a chocanitoare, um, she's a woodpecker, means she likes to suck, uh, suck the dick of the man or something like that, you know. <laughs> Sorry to get into these uh, dirty details, but you, you ask them. No, está perfecto. La culpa es mía. No. <ríe> y tampoco son, tampoco son detalles... Eh, no, me parece que son justamente todas esas cosas que, 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 transform, que elevan al, el significado de lo que, de lo que la película busca más allá de todo. Digo, eh, 
son cosas que, que, que están ahí en la superficie y que tienen segundas o terceras lecturas, y, y no podía dejar de hacer esa eh, conexión y, y, y esta idea de, de, de que también desde, desde otro lado eh, se puede leer como, como el, la, el, el tema de la burla y de, 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 de sumar a, a esta... A, a lo ridículo que es todo desde algún lado, y me parece que lo que tiene también esta tercera parte es que claramente está hablando de eh, la educación, que se, está, que se está pensando que se tiene que educar, eh, y cuán lejos está de lo que idealmente debería ser la educación en sí, ¿no? Oh, yes, it's uh, the film is, but very obliquely hints at the education problems in Romania because uh, it, is, I mean, it is absolutely infuriating what happens in the last 30 years after the, the 1989 revolution where the social uh, system of schools for everybody and culture for everybody, which at least the communist dictatorship did well, reasonably well, um, was destroyed by all the governments and then politics and the society itself. So nowadays we are in a time where 25% of the kids uh, don't finish the schools. The level of uh, uh, illiteracy is growing uh, and uh, the class system is much make, it makes it very obvious is that people who have money in bigger cities can afford the private schools or uh, the good public schools while countryside schools almost are non-existent or very bad. Uh, so, uh, the, and the system of getting admitted into high school is based on this kind of schools you get to. So someone who's a poor kid from the countryside will never get into a, a good high school. And uh, it's all, it's really, really a disaster what is uh, happening with the education here. And I don't see any social pressure for that to change. So I don't think it will change. On the contrary, the, the funds to education and to culture as well are less and less and to the healthcare system. So it, it really is, is, is horrible. And I really hope that, uh, that things can change. And the film doesn't address that. It's not the topic of the film, but it's a little bit because you can feel that these people, uh, which are, let's say, from a kind of middle class parents, the middle class parents, they have the pretensions of somebody that they want to, you know the best for the kids it, did, it doesn't matter uh, for instance I, uh, uh, the teacher at some point accuses uh, one of the mothers of something which i know is there is a horrible practice already uh, each high school and university has some places very very few one or two in every institution for roma people for gypsy people because roma was the population uh, kept in slavery for centuries i made the film about that called Aferim years ago. Uh, and then because they are not integrated, most of them in the society and they are kept on the margins and the racism against the Roma population is very high. Uh, the government made this small thing to give them a, a place in the, the school system. But even this, uh, you know, there are Romanians, white Romanians that bribe Roma organizations and take a certificate that they are Roma ethnical people so they can put their own ch children in instead the, the place of Roma children who deserve that place. So you, you, you can see how dirty all thing is for these people when, it, when they speak about the, the children. There are many parents uh, ready to do whatever it takes for the well-being of the child, even to destroy other People. Eh, hace un ratito hablabas de la, de la búsqueda o de, de, de esta necesidad de, de, de contar el, el, tu mundo y cómo ves tu mundo a nivel nacional eh, y cómo a partir de, de refranes como el, el clásico pinta tu aldea y pintarás el mundo eh, no puedo dejar de evitar sentir que desde, desde este lado eh, los puntos de conexión son muchísimos, y que el, el, todo lo que tiene que ver con esto que hablabas, de la, la, la cada vez menor este, interés o, o, o apoyo desde las instituciones a 
la cultura, la educación y todo eso está sucediendo en todo el mundo, ¿no? Es algo global y en, en nuestro país no estamos ajenos del mundo. <ríe> y mucho de, de, de todo esto es, resuena absolutamente local, eh, y en especial todo lo que tiene que ver con la educación, que, que se siente, o por lo menos desde aquí, uno, uno voy a ponerme en, en singular por las dudas, no puede dejar de sentir que, que el foco desde, desde dónde debe estar la educación no estaría siendo el ideal. Eh, en cuanto a la preparación, cuando uno ve a hacia dónde se apunta, desde una idea global, eh, a educar a, a nuestros chicos, ¿no? Well, I cannot comment on that because I don't know how it is in other countries, but uh, for sure in most of the European countries is much better than in Romania. So at least, of course, there's a global crisis, as you say, but uh, in some cases, like the social systems, in some cases, in some countries is better than in the other. So I would like that if Romania would have only the problems of Switzerland, of Germany, <laughs> that would have been great, but it's not the case. It's, it's really, you know, it's really, we are on the last place now, even with the vaccination campaign, it's only 35% of people vaccinated. A lot of people die. We are almost in a lockdown because people don't take the vaccine. And this shows how the, you know, that the lack of scientific education and the lack in science pays off uh, uh, in the end, I think, I think, at least for a part of the population. Exacto. Bueno, y para ir cerrando, eh, vamos a esos tres finales. No creo que sea casual que hayas dejado el último para el final. <ríe> y si me tengo que casar con uno, me caso con él. Up to you. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot judge your uh, your desires or your taste. Well, no, actually, the, the all the three endings are, are part of the film. I cannot choose one. I wouldn't have made only the last ending. You know, it, that would have been uh, uh, not a good option, I think. And also, as I said, the film is a little bit unfinished. It's a little bit like a sketch. So I didn't want to have a conclusion. Uh, Uh, as uh, as powerful as as uh, a conclusion, it's like Flaubert said: uh, uh, "To be stupid means to 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 conclude, to have a conclusion." So I try not to to be stupid in this sense. Uh, but of course, yeah, the th probably the third ending uh, is a little bit more nice for many of us. So we can uh, we can take it as the real ending. But no, for me, it's uh, all all the three of them are part of the film. So pero es, es un poco eh, prender todo fuego, como el fondo que tenés en este momento, que es la contraposición absoluta wow. de, de todo el comercialismo y el consumo que, te, que tiene el mío. I changed it. <risa> Now Está it's perfecto. <risa> bueno, eh, ya, ya hiciste porque estás eh, en, 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 un, en un, me parece que estás en, en constante proceso de, de, de trabajo, estás con, ya tenés algunos cortometrajes hechos, ¿cómo, es, cómo sigue tu, tu carrera, tu filmografía? Well, uh... I'm finishing two short films now and I have a, a, a feature film project to be shot next year, which is a more uh, down to earth story. It's, you know, I think it was Buñuel who said that the problem of Hollywood uh, uh, is like um, after you make a film, the next one should be bigger and with bigger budget and the third one with big, big and even bigger budget and bigger production and bigger ideas and so on. So, uh, and I, I felt that pressure even on me at my level, people saying, oh, after, now after you won the Golden Bear, next film should be, you know, uh, even bigger or crazier, or I don't know what else. And it's very easy to fall, 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 in, fall in this trap. So I think my next film, it's not, uh, not on this direction. It's a more uh, quieter film, uh, uh, a social film based on the relationship between people and corporations, but also has a more experimental structure. 
uh, so I'm very eager to, to be able to shoot this film next year, I hope. We are still looking for, for money. We have a part of the budget, but we still need a lot. People say, well, for now, for, for you, now it's going to be very easy to, to raise the money. So I say, well, let's see. I just finished the translation of the screenplay two weeks ago, and uh, we'll see how easy it is or not. Oh, <laughs> but uh, mentioning the work, yes, for me, uh, it, it's very important to work. Uh, somehow, the, because of course, there are two different ways of, of uh, making films. Uh, uh, and I heard, since I mentioned Lucrecia Martel, which I admire a lot, at some point she said, I cannot understand filmmakers who make one film a year. Do they have so many things to tell? Because I don't. I, that's why I make a film every five or six or seven years. I don't know. And I thought about it, and I think she's wrong, because exactly when you have something to say, you say it very rarely because I don't have something to say. I only have things to explore and to try try things and 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 and, and to use cinema as a research tool uh, in order to have something to say. I need to, to make the films. So I'm on the opposite. I don't have anything to say, but only after the film <laughs> are made in a way. So this is why I felt the need to to work more uh, and 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 uh, with a lot of attention, but to to do as many things as possible. It's, uh, maybe quantity turns into quality, as Stalin said at some point. Bueno, eh, también desde un punto de vista personal, eh, la, la calidad siempre está en tu cine y por eso nos gusta tanto programarlo. Eh, y, y volviendo al comienzo, esperamos que alguna <risa> okay, vez puedas estar aquí presentando quizás tu próxima película. Siempre esperanzas, esperanza siempre. I hope. It's not, uh... <risa> Good luck there, carajo, as you say in Argentina. No. Muy bien. Yeah. Bueno, Radu, I un gusto like absoluto. To. Muchas gracias una vez más por estar presente Thank en el you. festival y por esta hermosa charla. Gracias. Gracias totales. Thank you so eh. much for the invitation. Bye bye. Gracias. Eh, eh, sigan eh, estando atentos a todo lo que sucede en esta 36 sexta edición del Festival de Cine de Mar del Plata, un placer hablar con Radu Yude, nos seguimos viendo virtualmente o en las salas. Disfruten del festival. Gracias.